everyone. I am Miss Connie, and I am here with Miss Kristen and Mr. Kimball for the Sycamore Tree, our children's worship. And we are in the church at St. Anne's in Annapolis, Maryland. I am so happy that you've joined us today. Today, we are going to talk about faith again. Last week, we talked about the mustard seed beginning as something very, very tiny and growing into something really big. Today, we are going to talk about a storm and Jesus being on his boat, on a boat with his disciples. And the disciples decided to get on the boat. I am sure they were very, very tired from preaching the good news about Jesus, and they all got in the boat to rest and to go to the other side, maybe to pray, because Jesus did that quite often, got in the boat, went to the other side to pray and calm himself. And he was with the disciples in the boat. And all of a sudden, a great big storm came upon them, and the boat started to rock back and forth. And have you ever been on a boat in a storm or in the waves, and you rock back and forth? And if you're on with a, in there with a storm, that boat really rocks back and forth, and the waves get really, really high, and it's a little frightening. And Jesus was with his disciples, and his disciples were so afraid. And Jesus said, What's going on here? What are you so afraid of? And the disciples said to him, look at this storm, Jesus. It's a big storm. I'm sure they were afraid that the boat would tip over and that they would go into the sea and they would have a hard time in the sea. And Jesus said, okay, wind, stop blowing. And just like that, the wind calmed. And then he looked over the side of the boat and he saw the great big wind, the, the great big waves that the wind had created and he said, "Peace, be still." to the waves. And the water became calm. There was no breeze, there was no wind. The water was still, and he said to his disciples, you have such little faith. And the disciples were just astounded at what Jesus could do. And they thought, who is this person who can calm the wind and calm the waves? Who is this person? Now, I was thinking about my faith. And sometimes, for me to believe something, I have to see something. And I think the disciples thought the same thing, that they began to believe in Jesus, that Jesus was God, that Jesus was the Son of God who came among them when they saw Jesus do that miracle, to calm the wind and to calm the sea. I wonder what kind of faith we have when we believe in Jesus and we don't have to be in that boat rocking and the storm all about us. I wonder about that calming of the sea and our faith. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. When evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, let's take this boat to the other side of the lake. And leaving the crowd behind, they all got in the boat. Suddenly, the weather got bad and the wind howled and the waves tossed the boat in the air and was swamped with water. Jesus was sleeping 
on a pillow in the back through all this commotion. They screamed at him and woke him up. We're all going to die. Don't you care? And he woke up and scolded the wind and said to the sea, peace, be calm. And the wind stopped and it was calm as it could be. He said to the disciples, why are you scared? Do you still have no faith? And they were overflowing with amazement and said to each other, did you see the wind and the sea obey him? Who is he that he can control God's creation like that? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. so shine. Ask my Lord if all was mine. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Oh, every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Jordan River runs right cold, chills the body. One train on this track runs to heaven and right back. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Oh, every time I feel the Spirit, Lord, moving in my heart, I will pray. The prayers of the people. We pray for the love that God gives us and makes us happy. God who loves us, thank you. For our family and friends, God who loves us, thank you. For rainbows in storms and all the calm that comes from you. God who loves us, thank you. For summer picnics and food and homes and love. God who loves us, thank you. When we are afraid or need help. God who loves us. Hear our prayer and help us. Let us all say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
goodbye, everybody.